I used to say to them, it's your ship. You, know, you own this ship just as much as I do. If you see something that needs to be done, step up to the plate. Take action. I'm going to support you 100% of the time. Hope, I told them I hope you're perfect. But you know what? I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be perfect. It's a lifelong journey. But after everything we do in this ship, everybody involved is going to get together and we're going to critique it. It's an idea I lifted from the U.S. Army called the After Action Review. After every event, after every process, everybody involved would gather around my chair on the bridge wing, and they weren't members of a department, it was members of one team, and we would talk about what it was we were trying to do, what the conditions were at the time, what worked, what didn't work, what would we do differently or better next time we see the same situation. And on Benfold, the ground rules were, you check your ego at the door, there's no retribution for what gets said, and anybody in the process could respectfully challenge anybody else. The lowest ranking seaman could challenge the captain. And if they were right, if I was doing things that caused them to do needless additional work, I would change. If they were wrong, it meant there was something that they didn't understand. And it allowed me to have a coachable moment that says, hey, here's the big picture. Here's us down here, and here's how you contribute to the success of the overall mission. I wanted every sailor on that ship to feel like they were responsible for the successful outcome on that ship, because they were. I couldn't do it on my own. We made our share of mistakes on that ship, but we were never made the same mistake twice and we were constantly challenging every process, every assumption to do things just a little bit better. And the thing that turned our ship around was changing that mindset and getting people to understand, you know, it's in our own best interest that we control our own destiny. So one of the things I learned, the main lesson I learned when I was writing It's Your Ship, I'm no different than anybody in this room. All of us are captains of our own ship. You know, we're all part of a great team, a, a great organization. Every once in a while, spend some time thinking about what your own leadership story is. And think about the things that have caused you to be the success that you are today. And then ask yourself, what do we need to do to continue to up our game so that we can continue to control our own destiny? That's what's at stake today. Nobody can take their future for granted. We've got to go out and fight and earn it each and every day, and not take anything for granted.